Let's bring in our next guest, Rick Watson from CART. Rick, how's it going? Great, how are you? Now, I said you were in charter school earlier. No, you no, reprimanded no. me, and I, I like that in a good I teacher. We, <laughs> yeah. we are no, so not a charter school. What, what, what are you? If you're we're not... a public high school, okay. and we are located in Clovis, but we have students who feed into us from both Clovis Unified and Fresno Unified. Okay. And so so what, what's your niche? What, what, what is it that you do? It's career and tech ed. Okay. We have labs that uh, meet a half a day, so students can sign up in their 10th grade year to attend in their junior year and or their senior year. And they come over a half a day into a career project-based learning integrated lab. So it's like a vocational school. Kind of like a vocational Great. school, but there's a lot of academics that are in integrated into it. How long has CART been around? We're starting our 15th year. As a matter of fact, we're celebrating our 15th year anniversary this year. And how long have you been with them? This is my third year. I'll be okay. starting my third year there. Now, this is something that we should probably have, I don't know, three or four more of these. I'm in surprised the, we don't. You know, in yeah, the valley. Absolutely. Uh, kids get uh, uh, a little turned off by the school by, by uh, when they get into high school. Yeah, their, yeah. Their, their, their interests get to be different. But that doesn't mean they're bad kids. That doesn't mean that they're not smart. Yep. Uh, but but it, you know what it does mean? Darn it, they're going to need a vocation later on. Right. They're gonna need, exactly. And having a trade yeah. is, is something Absolutely. that you kids at home get a trade, follow your dreams, right. but have a trade. Absolutely. Because you can always have that trade and always fall back on that. Sure, absolutely. And we, we consider ourselves a college and career ready school. And so we prepare kids to go to four-year colleges, but they, they get an idea of what they want to go into. They can totally. come to CART for two years. They can stay in one lab for two years with some of our labs, or they can try two different labs. Because they might be there and see something else and go, that's it. Exactly. They right. might think, I really, really like this. Oh, maybe not. I want to try that. And they can try that out. And so we have kids come back to us every year and tell us what a great experience they had at CART and how it affected their life. And we do a lot of life skills training. So we teach them about you know, working in groups, working in teams, presentation skills. So there's a lot of those what businesses call soft skills right. that we teach kids to be able to do when they go out into the real world. Okay. Well, let's talk about some of the things that kids can learn over there. Sure. We have 15 different career-based labs. We have kind of what we call our business-based end, and we have our science-based end. Okay. So in our science end, we have classes like environmental science, robotics and product development. Can I back up just, now when you say these things, can you say what they would lead into? Sure, okay. sure. And environmental science. Environmental science, the kid, students could be forest service, they could work with wildlife service, Bureau of Reclamation, I mean those are those kind of fun outdoorsy kinds of jobs. Right. Product development is kind of an entrepreneurial kind of class, so kids who want to be an entrepreneur. Robotics, an inventor. An inventor, right. robotics. Mm -hmm. You know, in business now, it's going to be big in the future, right? Everything's going to be big in the future. On our other end, we have economics and finance for business majors, mm -hmm. marketing and advertising for kids that might want to go into that field. Do you have any agriculture? You know, or, we used to have uh, ag. auto or anything. No, we don't have auto and ag because we have two schools that feed into us that have really strong programs. Clovis East High School has the Ag Center out okay. there. Um, so we try to stay away from what our school districts have so that we're not competing okay. for students. All right. so, um, but you also, you're working very close with the school districts. Very close. We work with them to get kids here because it's an elective program. Mm -hmm. So we want kids to have this kind of an experience. Is, is there any cost that's passed along to the, to the parents of these students that want to get into CART? No CART. We're a public high school, so it's like they're attending their home high school. There's no cost associated with CART. Do they, do they have to have a certain GPA or anything? Yeah, we have some what we call some soft <laughs> requirements. We want them to be on track to graduate because they're coming in as 11th graders. Mm -hmm. So they need to be you know, up with their English. We don't offer math at CART, so they need to be taking their math at their home high school. We hope that they have a rounded 2.0 GPA, but because of the environment, like you said, kids get bored with mm -hmm. school and their grades drop. We'll take kids with a variety of GPAs because we know our environment might be the thing that saves them. But they must be attending regular high school. In Clovis this is, an, uh, this is not an alternative. It is not an alternative. This is an elective. Correct, because they come half day. <coughs> so half day at CART, either in the morning or the afternoon, and the other half of the day they're at their home high school because they graduated from their home high school. Now, uh, ki kids at home that are uh, they're listening and they're going, well, mm -hmm. wait a minute, when I go to school next week, 
I want to talk to somebody about this. Is yep. it too late? No, it's not. Actually, we're still taking applications. They need to see their counselor at their home school, and we have an application that they can get online. Fill that out, get it to us, and we'll certainly still consider them for CART. And the transportation goes from their home high school directly Correct. to your Correct. campus yes, and, we and thank, back. We thank our two school districts providing that transportation so no kid cannot come to CART because of transportation. There's no, they take away that excuse. We take away that excuse. The buses, some kids drive when they're old enough. They can certainly drive to CART, but buses pick them up from their home school and take them back both sessions. Now, what about the community? Is the community involved with CART at all? Heavily involved. We have business partners in all of our labs that help provide that career connection. Mm -hmm. We want to have a real-world environment for our students at CART. So we have business partners and mentors and uh, businesses who provide internships for that all of our That was my next labs. question right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you placing the interns while they're in the program or yeah. after the program? No, while they're in the program. Usually so they can, the get, second they can semester. get school, high school credits being an intern. Correct. Very, very, and, very And nice. we have classes that feed into Fresno State, so they actually get what's called Unitrack credit from Fresno State. Excellent. So there's a lot of, a lot of uh, options and a lot of pluses for coming to CART. Well, since we just have a short time to talk about this, Rick, uh, if there's parents out there that are watching that have some more questions, sure. uh, have a school year coming up, uh, what do you suggest they do? Two things. I would uh, call the home high school and ask for the guidance counselor and ask about CART. They can also check out CART at CART.org or give us a call at 248 7400. Very Glad nice. to tell them about it. Now, uh, when you're not out teaching school, and you, you're, you're the principal there? I'm the principal. You're the principal. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, no, let's back up. When you're the principal there, what, 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 this isn't a regular high school, no, so regular you can't be school. a regular principal either, no, can I'm, you? I'm actually a chief executive officer, so that brings in that business connection. So, so you're actually, you're a principal that's actually looking at the books. I'm looking at the books. I'm out meeting with business partners. I'm trumming up money in the community because we do receive donations from our partners that help Help our labs and, and that, so, that, can get, that can get kind of tricky so you got to know the ins and outs there you know, right? I'm an educator by trade and getting out into the community and drumming what, what up did those you teach when you're when you're a class biology oh so I was a biology teacher yeah so that love that, the sciences that that's cool yeah well it's yeah. got it's, it's got to be a, a a refreshing being in the cart program after Very being refreshing. in a, a regular structured school. It sure is. To kids see this. love being there. Yeah, see, they see enjoy the, kids, the experience. They, they kind of open up in a different way, I would think. It's amazing huh? to see the transition from yeah. kids. Amazing. Like, uh, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the teacher stigma goes away just a, a little bit, maybe? Oh, yeah. It's, you know? it's like they're part of the labs. So have three teachers in every and they're hands-on. They're Very working hands with on. the teachers. Yeah, I call my teachers facilitators, not teachers. Nice. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Uh, people can go, come by and check out the come campus? Come by anytime. We do, we do uh, tours every day of the week. Host anybody. Awesome. Well, yeah. what, about, what about bringing some youngsters by to show them what they can look Absolutely. forward to later on? We bring on. Uh, junior high students in for tours all the time. We have a summer academy program where fourth through sixth graders can come to CART for a week. And How does that work out? I bet that gets them excited, huh? Oh, my gosh, they love it. We do little mini versions of they our They kind labs. of feel like big kids, oh, right? they love it. In fact, we now have kids who come back to us and say, I was in Summer Academy. Right on. It's a great recruiting tool. Where, where's, where's your campus located at? We're actually located in Clovis at 2555 Clovis Avenue, right behind the Sierra Vista Mall. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. When you're not when you're not at cart, what do you like to do? Oh, I love my family. I do things with my family, play a little golf, read a few books when I have time. Where are you from? Because you call it golf. I, I'm I'm from Fresno, California. Look at that golf. right there. Okay. <laughs> All right, Rick. Thank you very much thank for very coming much. by. It was Appreciate very very us. good hanging out with you. Thank it's you. always nice to see when someone can tell that there's there, there's teenagers. They're good kids that just need a different route they to need take. A different environment. You know? Absolutely. And uh, th for me to hear that, uh, just knowing how I was when I was a teenager, uh, it, it's, it's a great option yeah, to have, it's a great isn't option. it? We're proud of our program. Awesome. Thank All you right. very much for Thank coming you. by. You bet.